24 to 8 RSN Breakfast with Michael Christian, Mick McGuan and our very special guest in the studio from the Victoria Bush Rangers, John Hastings. John, welcome. Thank you, boys. Thanks great for having, having me on. Here. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's great to have you in the studio, Johnny, considering you've got a big game tomorrow at the MCG yeah. against New South Wales, a must-win game to stay on top. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's always good to pop in and speak to you, boys. But, um, no, we've got we've got a big couple of games coming up in the Sheffield Shield. You know, we... It's pretty tight up the top. There's four points between first and second, and then I think there's about eight points separating the rest of the field. So big games coming up. We look to you know have a win at the MCG coming up, and um, then we go down to Tassie, and you know, we'll probably have to sneak two points or even another win there to make sure that we host the final or even make the final. So very interesting few days and few weeks coming up. Ostensibly the, a very similar squad to the one-day squad. I suppose we've, we have spoken to you post the, the loss in the final, but... Is there be a bit of fire in the belly in terms of trying to get redemption? Yeah, no doubt there is. Just, I think that's the biggest thing. Well, that Roby Cup, so that one really hurt. I mean, they all do, but that one was especially, you know, hard to take. And um, the boys pulled together yesterday and got got together in a training session, had a bit of a meeting beforehand, and. You know, I just said, you know, boys, stick together. You know, let's 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 see what we can do these next couple of games, and let's really focus on the shield. And um, you know, we got another good hit out today at 10 a.m. And um, hopefully, all the boys will be up, ready to go, and we can forget about that and put another good performance on the board in the shield. Johnny, as a learning, what come out of the Roy Avery Cup loss the most? I think the biggest thing is just our performance under pressure. Um, there's no secret that in the big games we just haven't been up to the mark. Um, and I think you know we've just got to go back to the basics and, and just rely on your skills. You know you're good enough. You've played that mm. well all year. We played such a good brand of cricket all year. And to have it fall away in the final like that was just devastating. So well, it, was, well, it was more than that in, in the sense that at different stages, and I, I, I watched the entire match, at different stages when you were batting, chasing the total, and obviously rain affected the outcome, blah, blah, but you looked to be in control with a couple of really good batting partnerships that were really developing, and the game looked to be under control in on two or three different occasions with two or three different batting partners. Yeah. That, that, would, that would have been the most disappointing part, I suppose. That is the most disappointing part. They, look, they probably got a few too many, and there was a bit, you know, it wasn't the ideal conditions to play a game of cricket in. But all that aside, if you come up in the morning of the game and said you need four to win to, to win a Roby Cup final, four and over to win, you know, you'd take that any day of the week. And I just think, you know, we, it's plain and simple. We weren't up to it. Mm. Um, and we haven't been over the past six or seven finals. So, you know, that, that's something that we've addressed. Um, you know, it's something that we're working hard to try and redeem, but obviously we won't get a chance until next year in the in the one day format. But um, you know we're focusing all our energy on the on the Sheffield Shield. Yeah, and no doubt you'll go all the way. I've got full confidence in the Vicks. <laughs> Thanks, Vic. Knock over them, New South Welshmen. Beat the Tassies down in Tassie on the fifteenth, and then host the final at the MCG. Big challenge for the staff at the MCG, I must say, Chris. Hope well, you host yes. the final could take five days. And then the grass has got to grow in two days to get the footballers on it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, absolutely. that's another issue, Johnny. Absolutely. No, well, it's funny you say that because when we were there a couple of years ago in uh, 09 10, I think they had two days to turn it around and we we're out there singing the song in the middle and the, there was cranes going everywhere, <laughs> uplifting all the pitches. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It was quite. Well, there's yeah, about it was 10 to lift in there. Yeah, there is. There's, I think there's about eight, eight laid down there. So yeah. um, there's cranes everywhere. I don't think anyone heard each other singing the song, but not to worry. <laughs> they won't be singing the song over in India. <laughs> no, they won't be singing the song over in New Well, they can't because Nathan Lyon's not there. He's, not, <laughs> he, he's meant to lead it, isn't he, Johnny? <laughs> uh, yeah, I might leave that one for the people, I think. <laughs> uh, the bat and change has already taken place. What happens yeah. if they had a one this second well, test? Who would have sung good, it? Well, that's I must, a good point. It's a very good question, Mick. I'm not sure because I must admit when Mike Hussey, who formerly owned... What's the what's the expression the boys use? Not own, lead the song. Yeah, I suppose it's sort of it, you're a team a leader in the, and leading the song. You leading get the song. get the team. Yeah, the, yeah. you get the team song started, and um, you know you're a custodian of the song. I guess. Custodian is a word. Yeah. yeah, and Mike Hussey's been that for for some time. And mm. when it was announced that he was handing it over to Nathan Lyon, I thought, well, that's good. But Nathan Lyon hasn't necessarily established <laughs> himself as a absolute critical member of the team, and. Two tests later, he's out. He's out, yeah. So, maybe I don't know, maybe Huss saw something about this series coming up, but I'm not sure. But um, I don't know what they're going to do with that one. It's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. But let's talk about the performance, Johnny. And obviously, you've been at the coalface and you've represented Australia 
with a plum when you've been available and you've played. Now, in a situation where the players haven't stepped up to the plate, as though you didn't do yesterday, I thought our batting was very poor. Mm. Who leads the right act? Is it strong in the change rooms about what we didn't do well? Is yeah. that Mickey Arthur? Is yeah, it Michael is. Michael Clark. It, it's a combination of both. Um, you know, Mickey will he'll say his piece, and then um, Michael will either say, "Yeah, I agree with you," or you know, "Boys, these are some areas that we need to fix." But no, that happens in the change rooms, and that that's all well and good. But then you need to go out onto the training track and actually go out there with a view to to getting better. It's all well and good training for six hours, but if you don't have a com- a goal in mind and get something out of that session, like. I just think you need to go into that training session with a clear view, a clear plan, and try and get something out of it. And if, if that's not the case, then you've got to look at why. So I, I'm just not sure. You know, there's, there's a lot said in the papers. There's a lot, you know, being written down about the Australian cricket team at the moment. But, you know, how about coming out and, and backing a few of the boys and, and seeing if there's any way that we can get better? You know, that's that's the biggest thing for mine at the moment. I've got some really good mates over there that are that are doing it pretty tough. And um, Who are they, John? You know, James Patson, Peter said, I think, look, you know, they, these are two guys, and even Matty Wade and Maxwell, guys that are in my squad, and, you know, they're doing it tough, and they hate letting Australia down, they hate letting the people of Australia down, but on the flip side, a lot of people forget that 12 months ago, these guys beat India 4-0, mm. you know, that was only 12 months ago, so, yes, there has been a few changes in Ricky Ponting and Michael Hussey retiring, but I still think, you know, the core base of this team is still together. Changes are inevitable, based on the output of results. Who's got to go? Well, I think Phil Hughes is, is averaging two over there. I think his last 39 balls or something like that. Yeah, well, it's about 